What's up, traders? Three for three today. One on SPR, one on KZR, and one on VERI. Well, let's get to it. I'm going to start SPR here. That was a pretty good squeeze there. Let's see if it wants to keep going. All right, getting the drop. Gonna take 75% there. I liked where the bid was. Didn't want a chance of popping back up. It's okay. We would have got our fill. It wasn't that much. Now we'll let the rest try to work for us here. See if we get a flush down towards 31. We'll look to take off that secondary part of our position. There we go. See if we can get the push through. There it is. Boom. Right there. All right. We're down to the remaining part of our position here. I can kind of just search and look for more opportunities as, oh, geez, look at it squeeze up right there. Oh, and we're right at our stop and we got stopped. Okay, so big, no big deal there. That was just our remaining 10%. Sweet. All right, we're making our first trade here on IB. We're in VERI. We got a fill at 1320. Yep, okay. So it's sitting at 1285 for most of our shares. It's looking for it to flush back down through 13. There we go, 1290. We're sitting at 1285. 1287, 86, 70. Partially filled. There we go, got the fill there. Look at that pop right back up. So we picked a good spot to get some fill there. So our stop is sitting at high of day. Probably, okay, and we got filled there, all right. Okay, so that was a interesting trade. horrible fill there got 32 thought we were getting 40 looking for the pop through 50 for an ad all right dropping down oh guys oh we just covered 75 percent at our average i thought we were getting 20 on that drop what a busted trade this is literally right at our average that dropped so quick and then it popped right back up I thought we were getting 75% way down there. All right, we're just going to take it there. Man, what a busted trade. Ugh. All right, traders, we'll start here on VERI because this was actually our first trade over on Interactive Brokers. Um, we decided it was a little tricky because uh, we don't have any hot buttons over there, so we did everything manually. But as you can see, we entered as this thing was pushing up. The previous resistance was down here, a nice little extension. We got in over the $13 area around $13.20. Got a nice pullback for our 75% cover here. It's actually like 66% uh, based on uh, the manual cover because we took 30 shares here, took 20 out, and then we added or took the last 10 here as it broke through high of day. So we pretty much top ticked it, so that wasn't too much given back. We ended up making, I think, six dollars like five dollars six cents on that one so then over here to our s p r trade this was actually our best trade of the day i just i liked how it felt i liked how um, we exited we followed our plan so pretty happy with it um, but as you can see previous resistance all the way down here around that 30 25 area it's actually right there um, currently and we pretty much topped it this thing we got an entry sitting here at 32 13 uh, on the drop down through 32 towards 31 50 we took off 75 percent uh, sat through got another uh, nice drop down here towards through 31 and we ended up taking 60 percent of that remaining position leaving us leaving us with 10 percent of our overall position and we we're looking for this to obviously continue down but it decided to squeeze up we put a trail order in here of 60 cents and how i've been coming up with the trail orders is i've basically been looking over here at the scale that the ticker is in and i've been giving it one of these columns here or rows i should say so 50 cents gave it a little bit more room because i liked where our entry was and unfortunately that still wasn't enough and as you can see it actually went up a lot more it actually went up basically a full point here and we given it 60 cents so it ended up coming right back down after it squeezed but you know either way it was still a pretty good trade that was only 10 percent of our remaining position and it was still pretty far into the money so going to be pretty happy with that and our last trade on the day was on kzr this one was a little bit of a doozy we thought we were entering this on this nice intense move at 940 uh, as you saw in the live trade it was a little frustrating uh, it jumped down to 932 and we got filled it uh, went a little bit higher up through 950. We were looking to add up closer to 10. It never got there. 967 was the high. It dropped back down. And as we saw 920 on the ask, we hit the button. And as we hit it, it jumped that quick back up to 932. So we ended up taking 75% of our position off at our average price. So two bad fills in a row to kind of alleviate pretty much most of our position that we had taken. 
right right off the bat. So we were left with a little bit more. It came down towards nine, and I was just kind of flustered um, emotionally because of those two fills. And it was right near that previous resistance there at 880, and I was looking for that to kind of hold, which, as you can see, it, it pretty much did. It tried to go back up towards the highs uh, before ultimately failing. But we ended up taking the rest off there, and we were just happy with it. So... That was all I have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Always appreciate that support. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the live stream. Peace.